Hey everybody, welcome to the newest episode of BlizzPlanet.com's Week of Warcraft. As always, I'm your host, the Bearded Gamer, Chris Arnone. And of course, I'm wearing my epic purple shirt once again from Jinx that you all loved so much last time. Let's get right into that weekly news roundup. Here's the beef. So first up, a little new patch, of course, once again, for Miss Pandaria Beta. This time is introducing the Townlong Steps zone into Mr. Pandaria. Now, this zone is filled with these hills and cliffs that are being overrun and invaded by the Mantid, which are these sort of anthropomorphic roach things that are originally from the Dead Wastes. Now, hiding amongst them is the Shaw of Fear. Okay, ever since it escaped, this is where it's been hiding. This is also how it's been spreading throughout Pandaria during the beta, okay? So, you know, go and check out that new zone uh, while you're in that beta, of course. Uh, next up, a little data mining. There is a black market auction house on its way. Now, no, MMO Champion has done a little bit of data mining and found this black market auction house in the code from the Mr. Pandaria beta. Now, what it allows you to do, it's, it's where you can buy rare items, mounts, pets, recipes, all sorts of things. Um, but these things do cost a lot of money. Some of these items are 10,000 gold or higher. But here's the kicker. Included in this, from what they've seen, are old items that no longer appear in the game. For instance, the Tier 3 Nax Ramus sets, which, of course, are now retooled as Tier 7 after Wrath of the Lich King. So you could actually get that original Tier 3 gear uh, that you can no longer get. So it could be a great opportunity for new players to go back and get old old items, or, you know, for long-time players that never got around to getting a certain you know item or set that they were going after, to go back and get that, so long as you're willing to throw down a lot of in-game gold. All right, so a World of Warcraft guild has become the first to kill the Skeleton King on Inferno setting. That's right. So, of course, the WoW players, they're so organized, you guys got together and went and knocked this thing out first. Uh, basically, Elite WoW Guild Method decided they wanted to get some world first in Diablo 3. I guess taking a break from World of Warcraft for the moment. And so they were indeed the first people to go at Inferno level and kill the Skeleton King, which if any of you played the beta or you've started playing the full game, he's like the first kind of major boss battle in there. In the beta, he was the final boss battle, and he is, you know, still pretty much the first big boss you fight going through the main game itself. Uh, so they did this in just two days, which is, I mean, that's just crazy. But keep in mind, this is a hardcore raiding guild. They're very accustomed to these big battles. They're organized. They're used to communicating well. Uh, so, you know, they know how to work with one another and do this. And they said, they actually said that the difficulty is so high on Inferno level that it's going to take quite a while before your average game or your non-sort of hardcore raiding, uh, you know, a guild that's been together for a while, everybody else can actually get to the point where they can take down the Skeleton King on Inferno setting. So just, just crazy. Look at, wow, taking over Diablo 3, all right? So, now some of you may have heard about this, that Thrall may not be the new war chief. Now, a little background on all this, of course. Thrall, for a long time, was the war chief of the Horde. But when Deathwing came and broke the world, he went off to try and, you know, fix the world, and he indeed did kind of save the world. And in his place, Garrosh stepped up. But everybody hates Garrosh. <laughs> Players, you know, he's just screwing things up. Inside there, he's escalating the war with the Alliance, uh, uh, which is all going to come to a head, of course, in Mist of Pandaria. And it was revealed in a press event back in March that with the last patch, the last update for Mr. Pandaria, there will be a raid where both the Alliance and the Horde will actually raid Orgamar itself to usurp Garrosh. And they had said at that time that Thrall would then come back as the, uh, the war chief. Well, now it's come out. Uh, last week, community manager uh, Zarim said, and I'm going to quote here, okay, he said, I don't know what was said during the press tour, but don't be so sure that what you know who the next... that." that you know who the next war chief will be. The information provided during the press tour was not entirely accurate. Uh, so, you know, uh, Eldorian and I were kicking this back and forth. You know, we're, we're not sure what happened here. If maybe someone misspoke at the press event, it could possibly be that maybe Blizzard listened to the fan reaction because fans weren't too, you know, excited about Thrall coming back. They felt his time had passed. So maybe Blizzard has listened and they're going to go the other way. Maybe Thrall will come back as an interim war chief until a full-blown new war chief is brought into power. Uh, but all that's kind of up in the air, uh, and, and you know who knows who's actually going to end up as war chief of the Horde. 
So, last week we discussed that we were giving away that epic uh, mouse from Steel Series for World of Warcraft, and of course we do have a winner. So the the person is Franz Thirty Seven. Indeed, you are the winner of that awesome, awesome Steel Series epic uh, mouse for uh, World of Warcraft. It's a gorgeous looking mouse, and that should be a lot of fun to play with. Oh, so let's end with a question, as we often like to do. So now that we've been talking about uh, Thrall and Garrosh and the and the War Chief, who do you want? to take over as War Chief. Uh, who do you think will become the new War Chief? Do you think they're going to stick with Thrall? Uh, what about uh, Troll Leader Vol'jin? What about Basic Campfire? What do you think? Who will be the next War Chief of the Horde? Okay, guys, now while you're on YouTube, of course, throw down some comments here, answer our question. Head over and check out Bearded Gamer Show, my show, everything that is gaming, not just Blizzard. And of course, check out blizzplanet.com, all the news, reviews, Great community, everything you need to know about Blizzard Entertainment games. We'll, check, we'll catch you next, next week.